There's one big exception to the octet rule that you need to know to be able to draw Lewis structures. Hydrogen only needs two valence electrons to fill its outer shell. Instead of an octet, we'll call it a duet. You could even call it a dynamic duet if you like. On the top, I have two hydrogen atoms. They're not bonded, drawn with the Bohr model. And on the bottom, I have two hydrogen atoms, more of a Lewis structure type model. So hydrogen only has one in the outer shell, but when it comes together and shares with another hydrogen to form H2, it now has two valence electrons. Its outer shell is full, it's very stable. Same here, if I have my Lewis structure, it would end up being drawn just like this for hydrogen. The point is, hydrogen needs only two valence electrons in its outer shell. That's why it forms chemical bonds. And that's why we end up with H2 as a common molecule. It's very stable. We might say that by bonding with another atom, hydrogen is similar to the electronic configuration of helium, which has two valence electrons in its outer shell. Helium is a noble gas, and it's very stable. It doesn't bond with anything. It's so stable. Once we add more electrons to something like helium, we end up placing them in another shell, another energy level. So that's why hydrogen forms what we're calling a duet when it bonds with other elements. It's an important exception to the octet rule and one you need to know if you're going to be able to successfully draw Lewis structures. This is Dr. B with the duet of hydrogen and thanks for watching.